Hello and a very warm welcome to our live coverage of the French Open 2019. And coming up in a short while, mouth-watering women's singles final uh, with two new names uh, and two emerging youngsters. Uh, but before we talk about the match, and it's really a mouth-watering prospect, it gives me great pleasure to welcome to the studio. And, and my word, you have to see the studio. It's looking like a tennis uh, stadium itself. We've got tennis balls here. Uh, first, let me welcome, there you see the tennis balls. We've got uh, two young emerging players uh, for the country and also, of course, uh, two big famous coaches. Uh, welcome to Narsing and uh, Vinod Kumar. Good evening. Uh, and, of course, our uh, two young emerging players. It's lovely to have you both here, uh, Pari and her sister, Sanya. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, lovely. Uh, we will talk about this match and also talk to our young players here. Uh, but first, let's talk about the finalists. And of course, we've got uh, Ashley Barty of uh, Australia. She is world number eight. Uh, she's five feet five, 23 years old. And uh, Ashley, uh, very interestingly, at one point in her career, actually took a break from tennis to give a shot to uh, cricket. She's so talented, multifaceted, left cricket, came back to tennis. She even won the Wimbledon uh, junior title some years back. And what a hot prospect she is, world number eight. And regardless of the outcome of this match, if she wins the final today, she will jump up to world number two in the rankings. If she loses, she becomes world number three. Uh, and uh, indeed, historic for Australia tennis because uh, she becomes the first French Open finalist uh, since 2010. Uh, Samantha Sto Stosur in 2010 was the last uh, French Open finalist for Australia. She was runner up at that time. Uh, her opponent today is uh, from the Czech Republic, Wondrusova, uh, just 19 year old and uh, Wondrusova becomes uh, at world number 38, unseeded, great journey into the final. She's in tremendous form, the left-hander from the Czech Republic uh, and she's not dropped a set on her weight into this uh, final. So it should be a super match. Uh, Wondrousova uh, and uh, you young girls will be very interested to know. She's yeah. got an interesting hobby. She's got a fixation of of shoes. Oh, Guess how shoes. many shoes she has. She's wow. got as many as 200 shoes as a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's that's an interesting aside on uh, our uh, finalists today. Uh, and uh, let's talk to uh, these young players first. And uh, Pari. Uh, let's start with you. You're just 14 years old. You've yeah. been playing for India. Yeah. And I believe you are uh, just coming up now. Tomorrow you start with a clay court tournament. So that's very appropriate. Yeah. So 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 tell us a bit about how do you how do you adapt your game to clay? It is a different surface. Yeah. But how do you play on clay? It is different playing on clay, like from synthetic to clay, because it's like slippery and sometimes bad bounce. But we can like, it's actually quite fun playing on clay we can skate and take the <laughs> balls <laughs> for me it's yes. like it's good it, it's good playing on clay I like clay what about you Sanya you, you're 17 you've also been playing for India uh, do you look forward to clay it's a different surface yeah it is um, usually players prefer hard but in my case I really like surface I really like clay courts um, I have won quite a few tournaments in there it's I think my game suits well to clay court and I can tackle different kind of opponents because the clay court really helps. Great, great. And, and uh, mm. it's interesting, uh, these youngsters mentioned sliding on the court. And that's indeed one technique that is so important on clay. It takes off the abrasion. And, and what better player than Rafael Nadal who demonstrates that? He's one of the best sliders on clay. And, and, uh, uh, and remember, it's a, there's an art in sliding also. You cannot slide for too long also. You have to keep your balance. Uh, but at the same time come back and let me talk to the coaches about this uh, starting with nursing you know talk, uh, playing on clay nursing is a different art and uh, what are some of the key points that you would highlight for for clay quarters which are you know very which will help them to do really well on that surface if i say the key word i say if you want to improve tennis play on a clay courts because there you get a full time and you get a all kind of a, a tennis Especially the balancing, the, as you said, the sliding. You cannot slide the other courts. Where you, if you go the hard court, you might get injuries. But here you can slide and hit the ball. And plus point is here, you learn a lot. Because you get enough time to prepare for the shots. If you've seen the uh, Djokovic yesterday or, or other matches, if you see the people are playing on the court, they're giving such time kind of to you improve yourself. And they're not, never in a hurry. If you see the hard courts, they're hurrying and hitting the ball very hard. 
but here they, they know that they'll come back and recovery so the, when you're learning for the recovery I send a lot of players to play the Europe circuit because the reason is they will improve a lot if they play three or three months event uh, tournaments uh, uh, Vinodji, um, Katanki, clay pe, especially uh, you have to have very strong legs and calf mm -hmm. muscles because pressure per the coffee legs pay Nadal could be up they kick in the physically fit hai. or just take clay quarters hai, movement to a court pay what but here at that see fitness is very important clay pay you have to be super fit you have to be very agile you have a, you should move around all the time because ball travels a lot you have to play each time at least for five six rallies ten rallies sometime more than that so jada ball up to kill you putting your finish karna is this difficult so after super fit on a budget super fit agar honge that's very easy to perform on the clay otherwise agar aap fit nahi hai, to you can play one set good otherwise second set third set maybe uh, third set onwards then you are gone yeah. so yeah, your your cardiovascular capacity your agility your code craft and you know everything matter they are actually real play players hai, wo shayad clay court pe hi saamne hai. And uh, it's very interesting, Jessa uh, Vinoji Kareki, about the uh, physical agility. Mm -hmm. uh, we see that with players like Nadal, how fit they are. I interesting that after his match yesterday, uh, which he beat Federer in straight sets, uh, and uh, uh, Narsingh Ji, Kal uh, Federer ne bola match ke baad, ki uh, Nadal ke saad aisa hai ki har ek ball wapis a jati hai. Nadal moves so well on the court. He almost it was frustrating for him. As Vinod also said the same same thing, you know, that the ball could be able to keep it. Federer and Nadal have seen that they have won 5 to 5 and they have won 11 tournaments. That means that they have won 11 tournaments to the final point is not a joke. Especially in the gra I mean, clay courts. Clay courts are tough than the grass courts. I, I feel that because you stay longer in the court. Until you stay in the court, you have to play a long time. In the grass, you finish the ball after 3 or 4 balls. Correct. But here you play 10 to 12 balls minimum average. The one, uh, one rally. So, ye dekhe ke fitness ke saath mein, ye court, as you said, the court crafting or kis pragar se aapko aana hai. Because here you won't find a winner that people are playing. The so mostly the playing, the making the errors other side. Because okay. opponent error kare. They are waiting for that ki wo kitna mehenga padta hai usko ek error karne ke liye. Yani ki apne kal match bhi dekha hoga ki semi final she was down set point. Correct. And she from there won the match. So, aisi chizay hoti hai clay court ke upar hi ho sakte. In, in fact, uh, that's a good <coughs> point you make, uh, Narsing. Uh, it, both these players, if you look at their semi-finals, really came back very, very strongly. Uh, the Australian, uh, having lost the first set, uh, and she was leading 5-0 in the first set, and thereafter, she came back, uh, she lost that first set, then she was down 3-0 in the second yeah. set, came back to win that 6-3, and 6-3 in the final set. Uh, and similarly, if you look at the Czech player, she was down in both the sets, she won straight sets, 7-5, 7-6, but uh, once again, it was her opponent uh, from the UK who was actually uh, Conta, Johanna Conta, who was actually serving out for both those sets and the Czech player came back. Uh, so the, uh, I'll go to the youngsters on this one. It, it just shows that it's never over till the set is over and you have to keep fighting. Yeah, you have to keep fighting the last point. You, do, you never know when it could turn around. Even if you're five left down, it doesn't matter. Like every pound, point counts as because she was 5-3 down in both sets and she recovered like that really shows her attitude and kudos to her great great and uh, you know it's lovely to hear that from both of you that uh, you know i think that's the right attitude you've got yeah. to never give up till the end uh, put the yeah. pressure um, so let me ask you about since we are talking about women's tennis who's your favorite player uh, my favorite player is Serena williams unfortunately she's out but yes <laughs> it's okay. It oh, happens. But what a, what a champion she is. Yeah, she's like 23 grand slams and... Super record. I think it'll be very tough for anyone to match that. Yeah. What about you, Sanya? Um, I really like Gabine Muguruza. I think her attacking game of style resembles my style. So I kind of alert to her and I really learn from her every time she plays. And I think sh she was really performing well in Roland Garros, but unfortunately she's out as mm. well. But let's see how this season goes for her. And uh, talking about uh, Serena Williams, uh, what a champion she has been uh, over the years. Indeed, the Williams sisters and nursing. Abko yad hoga ham isi studio mein 10 saal pehle baithe the aur isi tournament ki final ki charcha ho rahi thi. Aur maine nursing se puchha tha ki 
कौन आप प्रिडिक्ट करिए कौन जीतेगा और नरसिंह ने कहा कि विलियम्स जीतेंगी <laughs> तो लेकिन एक और था पिछले पंद्रह साल से जो विलियम्स का डोमिनेशन है बट दिस इज सच ए नाइस चेंज टू सी न्यू इमर्जिंग यंग प्लेयर्स सो दैट इज सेइंग इफ यू सी द जनरली द किड्स आर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ थ्री और फोर प्लस एज सो दैट इज द रीजन कि आप जो है छोटी एज वाले ज्यादा जीतने लगे पहले टेनिस होती थी हम लोग कहते थे हमेशा एज ए कोच कि परफॉर्मेंस विल कम इन द मेन्स में बाईस तेईस साल के बाद आएगी अभी यू कैन सी द परफॉर्मेंस स्टार्टिंग एटीन नाइनटीन सो दैट मीन्स अभी दो तीन साल नीचे आ गया है जो टेनिस का जो प्रभाव है या इसका जो असर है अब दिखने लगा कि यंग आर मोर परफॉर्मिंग बेटर एब्सोली विनोद जी आपका क्या कहना है स्पेशली अगर आप इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स में देखें यंगस्टर्स का कैसा माहौल है इमर्जिंग प्लेयर्स कैसे आ रहे हैं सी देखिए इंडिया में अब टेनिस कोर्स बहुत हो गए हैं बच्चे बहुत ज्यादा खेल रहे हैं और काफी अगर हमारा बेस ज्यादा होगा तो उसमें हमें ज्यादा प्लेयर मिलेंगे अब बेस बहुत बढ़ गया है अगर हम जब डेली एनसीआर बॉम्बे कल मेट्रो सिटीज में और इवन छोटे शहरों में भी अब टेनिस बहुत ज्यादा होती जा रही है तो जितना बेस बढ़ेगा उसी हिसाब से अब आगे जरूरत है राइट कोचिंग की तब वो राइट कोचिंग जैसे जैसे मिलती जाएगी आगे उसी हिसाब से जैसे अब ये जूनियर आप अगर आप देखिए इसमें टीन एजर्स इस टूर्नामेंट में चार टीन एजर्स है और अगर आप पहला अगर आप जब फ्रेंच ओपन शुरू ही हुआ था तो एंजली कर्बर को पोटा पोवा ने पहले फर्स्ट मतलब पहला मैच शुरू हुआ और शायद दो घंटे बाद उसका आउट कर दिया था तो अगर आप देखिए कि आप जो यंगस्टर आ रहे हैं तो वो अगर वो जल्दी शुरू कर रहे हैं या बेस उनके कंट्री में या वो जिस जगह पे ट्रेन कर रहे हैं वहां पे बेस बहुत स्ट्रांग है तो उसका यही सब रिजल्ट है ऐसे ही अगर बेस जब बढ़ जाएगा हमारा जैसे बेंच स्ट्रेंथ बोलते हैं क्रिकेट में ये बेंच स्ट्रेंथ बढ़ानी है हमने टेनिस में तो हमारे पास शायद और ऐसे जूनियर प्लेयर आगे आ जाएंगे Okay, that's good to hear, and and let me also mm. update you mm. on the Indian performance um, at the French Open this year. The, uh, disappointing to say the least. In the in men's singles, Prajnesh Gurneshwaran, who's our number one singles player, he's done very well to break into the top hundred rankings. He's number eighty-eight, but a very tame loss in the first round. He went down to Hugo Delian of uh, Bolivia, one six three six one six. So almost a one-sided uh, and disappointing performance by the Indian. Uh, and French Open, remember, in doubles has been a happy hunting ground for India over the years. You'll remember in 1997, uh, it was Mahesh Bhupathi who won our first ever Grand Slam title for India, uh, and that was in mixed doubles when he partnered Rika Haraki of uh, Japan. But unfortunately, this year uh, it's been very disappointing. Mixed doubles, they all lost in the first round. Rohan Bopanna with Hradeka, uh, Divish Sharan partnering Ayoma of Japan. And uh, Nanducharian, Jeevan Nanducharian, also losing in the first round, partnering more. And if you look at the men's doubles, similarly a disappointing story. Really, the best progress was by Rohan Bopanna and Kopil of Germany. Uh, they made it to the third round, but thereafter, it was Divit Sharan, uh, Leander, both losing in the second round. In the first round, Jeevan uh, Nanducharian. Uh, so um, Disappointing there, nursing. Uh, and uh, what do you think the reason is for that? Is it because of clay? The in Indians are not really that well known on clay. So you must be knowing that we are famous for the zigzag करने वाले players हमारे ज़्यादा होते हैं, as a Leander Pace and other Bhopana also, because they wait for the chance and kill the ball. Here in a clay court, it's difficult to kill the ball because players are always aggressive and baseline पे पीछे जाते हैं. लेकिन जैसे ही मौका मिलता है, वो net के ऊपर भी आते हैं. Grass court की टेनिस जो doubles में हो, grass की clay और grass की टेनिस एक ही होती है. लेकिन इफ यू सी दिस बोथ प्लेयर ऑवर साइड दिवी शरण एंड बोपना दे सपोज टू प्ले क्लियर एटलीस्ट टू और थ्री राउंड्स बट लेकिन नहीं कर पाए डबल्स हैं शायद अगले राउंड में जब कभी कहीं और मैच होंगे तो डेफिनेटली ये ऊपर आएंगे क्योंकि हमारी डबल्स टीम अभी स्ट्रांग है और विनोद जी हम बात कर रहे थे फिजिकल फिटनेस की लेकिन मेरे ख्याल से मेंटल फिटनेस भी बहुत जरूरी है स्पेशली अगर आप क्ले पे देखें पेशेंस रखना जरूरी है लंबी रैलीज होती हैं You can't lose your patience, or आपको मतलब संभल के खेलना पड़ता है, ball को play में रखना पड़ता है। See, on clay you have to play all court game. It's not that seven ball or you are chip and charge. You सब नहीं चलेगा। यहाँ पे तो you have to play from the baseline also. The moment you get chance, you have to go at the net and finish the ball. और ज्यादा से ज्यादा मतलब रियल टेस्ट जैसे मैंने पहले कहा था कि अगर आपके पास बीस बॉले वापस आएंगे बीस आपको वापस करनी है और मौका मिलेगा तो यू हैव टू अप्रोच और अप्रोच करने के बाद अगर आप देखें कि उसमें जब अटैक करते हैं तो अब दूसरा प्लेयर भी उतना ही भाग रहा है और जैसे आपने नडाल की पहले बात की नडाल तो 
मतलब पिलर टू पोस्ट और इवन कर्टन टू नेट मतलब ऐसा उसमें घूमता है तो अगर उतनी फिटनेस है तो ही क्ले पे परफॉर्म कर पाएंगे और उस फिटनेस के लिए अगर आप क्ले पे अगर अच्छा परफॉर्म करते हैं अपनी फिटनेस बना लेते हैं तो मैं समझता हूँ कि अगर आप ग्रास पे जाएंगे तो सवन वाली भी कर पाएंगे और अगर आप सिंथेटिक पे खेलेंगे तब भी इजी हो जाएगा और जैसे बच्चों ने भी कहा स्लाइड करना स्लाइड करना आपको उसके लिए आना चाहिए स्लाइड करना आना चाहिए फिनिश करना आना चाहिए कंसिस्टेंसी आनी चाहिए अब जब इस सब को सब बराबरी पे आ जाएगा तो अगर आप जैसे देखिए फाइल आप होने के बाद भी मैच हारा गया है तो मेंटल टफनेस जैसे आपने कही उस टाइम में अगर आप फिट हैं अगर आपको अच्छा खेलते हैं तो मेंटली भी स्ट्रॉन्ग होंगे तो जब ये बहुत जरूरी थैंक यू एंड लेट मी टॉक टू आर यंगस्टर्स हियर एंड परी आपके क्या प्लान टू कंटिन्यू प्लेइंग वॉट इज योर एम्बिशन इन टेनिस डेफिनेटली कंटिन्यू प्लेइंग my goal is first my goal is like for junior grand slams and then go on women's like and the ultimate goal is to win a olympic gold medal for fantastic India. fantastic i hope your dreams come true Thank and you. Uh, and and with your attitude and you were saying that you want to fight work yeah. hard there's no reason why you are going to be the next big name on the indian circuit definitely uh, what about your sister what are your plans Well right now I'm working towards my world ranking in the women's because I'm transitioning from juniors to women's so I think that's really important so I'm trying to start early and obviously my goal is for ultimately a olympic gold medal and to play all the main grand slams and Roland Garros is one of my favorite slams because clay court is my favorite surface and that is one of my great uh, yeah great so so uh, when you think about you know your practice and in the coaching you get what what else do you think you know if if you were to have a wish list right. of what all can you do remember woodrosova who's uh, playing the final today is your age she's 17 years old what can you do to become a woodrosova see i think um what indian players really lack <coughs> is kind of the fitness abilities so we really need to work on all aspects of fitness Yeah, you know water water or relaxation in the pool and sauna and relaxing all the releasing foam rolling you need to stretch out warm up is really necessary and mostly players skip the warm up and the uh, um stretching and all that so that's really important you know if you have a if you're disciplined and if you have a plan and you follow a routine every single time so things do work out you need to just have discipline and you know work hard I right, can add, right, I can add on in this Gaurav sure, uh, sure. uh, the girls are here the young girls uh, she was with me the last 3 uh, weeks before in Tashkent and I I, I used to tell her keep the ball more maximum number inside so that yeah. you will get the points so because in this age that's same the Sanya also there is in this age to play the maximum number ball inside par kehne ka matlab sirf ek hi hai ki agar aapko match jeetne hain so you have to keep the ball inside for and back and marna har jana har koi janta hai but attitude of the player side is a different if you see the all top players the attitude the possibility what they do in the court they have to follow this young i request to always the girls to give apne follow karna hai to un player ko follow karo jo top players hain huh. look at the habits what they do then you will see the difference ball hitting everybody is hitting the ball sab maar rahe ball ko lekin jitna kaun hai jo player ka attitude court ke upar hota hai so this is the from the durdarshan side ki main aapki ye bolunga ki aapka message ye ja raha hai so is for the learning people at least learn this how to play the tennis it is not so, important to how to hit the ball for and back end it is more important later on that you can see the style of play that nobody bother the how you winning the match that is more important and and uh, that's a, that's a great point <coughs> and and uh, very good tips that you also given for youngsters <coughs> like yourself but i think uh, you know the uh, the important thing and and pari i'll ask you in terms of attitude and in terms of your experience when <coughs> you've played international <coughs> tournaments how is that experience been It's been a very different experience playing with different countries Chinese Taipei Australia they all have a really different game and we really have to like play differently with them like some people like attacking like complete attack like some people like slow variations come on volley it was really nice playing with different ple- people and see how I can play with them okay okay great you know so uh, let's just come back to the forthcoming uh, uh, women's final which is coming in a short while and uh, touchwood today the weather is looking very good 
uh, at Roland Garros. Uh, yesterday, as you remember, was very wet, windy. Today, uh, it, it has been uh, clear, semi-cloudy, but at least hopefully the rain will stay away. It is still very windy. And uh, let me quickly ask my uh, experts here about windy conditions. Um, and uh, again, when you come back to the style of play in, in men, uh, Nadal particularly, with his heavy topspin, keeps the ball in. And nursing, what uh, advice do you have windy conditions on court? Mein? I, was, uh, I, was, I was about to tell you, yesterday's match, I've seen the men's singles, so women's singles semi-final also. If the windy, when we, uh, as a coach, we teach how to play against the wind, how to play the, with the wind. Like Pari also agree with us. Yeah. Ke, window hoti hai, yeah. Ke, aapko kaise khel like. Suppose you're playing with the wind, you have to hit harder. If you hit harder and roll maximum the ball. Because if you hit the ball harder and not rolling the ball, you'll find the ball will flow out. Right. So you have to be careful with this Correct. which side is the flowing the wind. That is also important. So player ke patience hai, and he knows how to tackle those situations. So if you situation mein deal karna jante hai, aapko sab kuch sakta hai. Same that we teach when the uh, in between the point, the guts broke. You have to complete the full point. It doesn't mean you just give up the point. So you sh they should continue at that same time. They never practice the kids, especially when the guts broke or gut broken. So they go for the change. They never play the full point. So I re again, this is another message. You play the full point with the broken guts. Do you get a habit of to use the, those kind of points? And and uh, Vinodji, Jesse jaise nursing ji bhi keh rahe hain agar aapke sath hawa chal rahi hai to it's flat shot agar aap marenge usko control karna bada mushkil hoga so you are better off probably yeah. with more top spin and keeping the ball in see you have this is different playing with the wind or against the correct or if you have you have to check how do you check on the court ki kis side pe wind ja rahi hai agar aap clay pe hain to thoda utha ke phek ke dekh le kidhar ja raha hai ya you can agar aap you are playing a bigger tournament you can see the flags किस साइड पे जा रहे हैं यू आर प्लेइंग अगर लाइक अगेंस्ट द विंड खेल रहे हैं जैसे बताया नरसिंह ने कि यू हैव टू स्पिन द बॉल एंड हिट हार्डर आई फ्यू आर प्लेइंग विद द विंड स्पिन मोर एंड यू डोंट हैव टू हिट सो मच हार्ड और सर्विस में इफ यू विंड इज गोइंग साइड टू साइड बॉल टॉस करोगे वो अब यहाँ राइट से लेफ्ट में चला जाएगा तो इस यू हैव टू ऑल्टर द टॉस उसको ऑल्टर को इतना कि आप बॉल को टॉस करेंगे और इमीजिएटली जब तक कि प्रेशर बॉल में ऊपर रहेगा जा रही है तब मतलब सम पॉइंट ऑफ पॉइंट बॉल स्टॉप उसी टाइम आपने मारना है बॉल करेक्ट तो ये सारी चीजें इन सर्विस इन फैक्ट सर्विस में बिल्कुल इफ सर्व लाइक अ स्टेफी ग्राफ द टॉस हायर करेक्ट सो द बॉल विल डेफिनेटली गो अदर साइड सो यू हैव टू बी शॉर्टन योर टॉस ऑलवेज इन फैक्ट द लेजेंड यस्टरडे फेडरर वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट द विंडी कंडीशंस एंड वो ये कह रहे थे कि सर्विस वाज द टफेस्ट इवन फॉर अ प्लेयर लाइक फेडरर ही वाज फाइंडिंग इट सो टफ टू सर्व इफेक्टिवली एंड अगेंस्ट वन ऑफ द बेस्ट रिटर्नर्स इन सर्व तो वही कह रहे थे फेडरर की यू नो एक तो हवा थी सर्विस वाज सो टफ फॉर मी एंड ऑन द अदर साइड नडाल इज देयर टू रिटर्न एंड किल एनी वीक सर्व यू मस्ट हैव एक्सपीरियंस दिस आल्सो इन विंडी कंडीशंस हाउ टफ इट इज टू होल्ड योर सर्व इट्स रियली टफ एंड वंस यू आर सर्विंग यू हैव टू गेट द पोजीशन राइट वेयर यू सपोज टू सर्व बिकॉज़ इफ द विंड इज गोइंग ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड सो इफ यू ट्राई टू गो वाइड it could just fly out on the alley yeah. so you need to control your serve and your toss according to the wind as well and when you returning it's hard to balance like overall it's hard to balance like as we saw yesterday jokovic was really finding it hard to balance and was all over the place in the first set so it it cost him the first set you know so you have to not pay attention to the weather conditions adapt to them and play according to them it would really help Right, and and do you also tend to uh, serve a little differently when it's windy? Yeah, uh, when it's windy, like if I really need to serve high, I like do like this side. So if the wind is flowing here, the ball will like come where I really need the contact. Like there are different things. If I second serve, I serve back. For first serve, we serve forward. So in different conditions, we do that. And this must be music to the ears for our coaches here because. <laughs> There are such pearls of wisdom coming from our young players, and that's very, very encouraging to see. Uh, it just goes to show the depth uh, and the training that they're getting, and that really augurs very well uh, for for the country going forward. Uh, and and we certainly wish you all the best in in terms of your future endeavors, you. and may your dreams come true. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, uh, let's just get back to this match coming up, and uh, remember, it, it's uh, it's a clash of youngsters. um interesting that wundrasova of the czech republic just 19 years old 
and uh, she is uh, up against the young 23 year old from Australia, Ashley Barty, uh, the num world number eight. Uh, that match coming up in a very, very short while. But there's a few records being established in this process. Uh, Woodrasova, of course, is uh, Woodrasova is uh, now, uh, she is uh, unseeded, but uh, world number 38. And uh, indeed, remarkable entry into this final without dropping a single set. She is in tremendous form. And uh, this should be a very, very close match. It's tough to make any predictions. It's their first Grand Slam final. Remember, before this, the best ever by Vodrasova was in the pre quarterfinals of the US Open last year. And her opponent, Ashley Barte, uh, did a little better. She was a quarter finalist at this year's Australian final. Uh, but nursing, uh, in terms of nerves and a big occasion, first Grand Slam final and nerves will certainly come into play. Bilkul thik baat hai, Gaurav ki, isn't the, when, uh, you can say the, har uh, dream, like the, these girls have said, we will want to win the Grand Slam. So har ka dream hota hai, aur ye final dono ke liye bhoat important to win this. As you said earlier, the rank is very important. Eight seed will be become number two in the world. So, dono ke liye important hai, ab dekhna yehi ki what's hoa, ya baati. किस प्रकार खेलते हैं लेकिन आज जो मैच है दोनों के लिए बहुत कहने का मतलब यह है कि दोनों के लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होगा साथ ही यह भी कहूंगा कि बाकी अभी जो यंग है शायद कुछ ना कुछ करके दिखाएगी आज एंड दैट्स 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 अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड आल्सो लेट मी रिमाइंड यू अबाउट द हेड टू हेड रिकॉर्ड ऑफ दीस टू प्लेयर्स दे हैव प्लेड ईच अदर ऑन टू ओकेजंस एंड इट इज 2-0 इन इन फेवर ऑफ द ऑस्ट्रेलियन uh, Barty. She's won on both those occasions and in straight sets. Uh, one was in Cincinnati on hard court last year. Uh, she won in straight sets. And then Barty also won the previous occasion that was in 2017. That was in grass in Birmingham and also in straight sets. So in terms of a head-to-head -head record, uh, certainly the advantage is with Barty, uh, the Australian. Uh, Ashley comes a little bit ahead also in terms of world ranking. Um, but in a Grand Slam final, Vinoji, you, you can never say. See, there are two types of players who are playing this. Just like Ashley Barty is experienced, plus she is like she can do. Uh, she known for the slice. She has a good slice and experience, and she play all court all court game. Other side, Wondrousova is a you know new player in the finals, but same time she has a very clean stroke. She has, she has she has a very good wide serves and uh, down the center serve and good ground strokes and uh, you know uh, she is fighting for the points but वही है कि अब इस टाइम में performance क्योंकि one over के लिए हारने का कुछ उसको फर्क नहीं पड़ता है लेकिन if she go all out तो I think she can do something big uh, interesting that one over has a very good attitude very positive attitude. And uh, she's been saying that she's really enjoying her tennis. She says that it is a big occasion, Grand Slam final. But having said that, she's really having fun on court. And, and that's so important. I'll come to our youngsters again and, you know, enjoying the, the tennis. Forget about the pressure and you put in all the hard work, the results will come. But at the end of the day, you've got to enjoy the game. Yeah, right. enjoying the game is like really important. If you just keep pressure on your mind, you won't be able to play good. The nerves will get into you. Enjoy the game freely. Like we play tennis because we enjoy it. So you just enjoy it in the end. And when you enjoy the game, your uh, head is always in the game. You know, you're living in the moment. And when you're in the moment, you can really perform to the best level that you are. Right, right. Uh, super. <laughs> I, I think that's that's super attitude. And again, it's been so encouraging talking to these youngsters. Uh, I think they've got the right uh, mental uh, mindset apart from the hard work they're putting in and I'm sure they're going to uh, achieve lots of laurels in their career. I think uh, uh, we of course are building up uh, to this uh, women's singles final. Uh, the weather unfortunately is seeming to play a truant once again, semi cloudy and they had forecast uh, light showers at Roland Garros uh, in a short while uh, back of course in progress was the uh, uncompleted men's single semi-final uh, which had gone into a fifth set uh, between dominant team and uh, 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 Novak Djokovic uh, and uh, it seems like there is an interruption there in play um, uh, which is unfortunate because uh, 
that will delay proceedings and uh, we are looking forward to this great uh, women's singles final uh, but it, it gives us a chance of course to just to talk a little bit more uh, mm -hmm. about um, uh, the players and um, one of uh, the and, and we have a Sanya here so one of the India's most famous players of course Sanya Mirza and uh, Unfortunate that she's had an injury, so she's yeah. not been playing Grand Slams now for uh, uh, for about a year, year, and then of course post her delivery. Yeah. Um, hopefully she'll come back. But yeah. uh, do you admire Sanya Mirza? Yeah, I really admire her style of play. Her forehand is really aggressive, and that really helps her um, perform well in matches. She really is able to create angles from any side of the court from her forehand, and it just goes to show that Indian players also. Have have been on the map, and you know if you just keep going, just need to keep going, and you know we can make it. So. And uh, young Pari, you do you like that Sanya forehand? She really hits it hard, right? <laughs> she does. <laughs> yeah. It's actually she plays really good. I mean, I think it's one of the strongest uh, forehands I've seen in the women's game across the world. Forget about yeah. India, uh, and that's been a big strength for her. Unfortunate that she's not uh, played, but a uh, yeoman service she's done. For India, yeah. and certainly a role model for youngsters like you. That she really is a role model, and because you know, it just goes to show that uh, singles, doubles, you know, there are so many, so many uh, places you can do well. She has been doing well. She even did well in singles, and also in doubles, she was world number one. So it just goes to show how talented of a player she is. Great, uh, great. Uh, we will, of course, keep you updated on. Uh, how the weather is panning out and how things are panning out there at the lovely court Philip Chatria, uh, where this uh, women's singles final will be played at Roland Garros. It's an amazing stadium, um, a great facility, um, and always a pleasure to be there at that stadium. I've been there a couple of times. Uh, fantastic facilities for spectators and uh, a great atmosphere. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, we have to give you the bad news that it is uh, uh, raining and bad weather at Roland Garros. So there is a delay in proceedings uh, and there's a delay in the start of the women's singles uh, final. We will come back to you as soon as play starts and uh, the weather eases out. Uh, but till then, uh, uh, it's goodbye from us. We will come right back as soon as live action is uh, uh, going to start. But we will be back, so stay right with us. Uh, we will come back and not miss any action in the women's uh, singles final. <laughs>